Might there someday soon be a new connection between Lombardi and football? It's possible some coaches and athletic directors are among those pushing the possibility of adding football to Green Bay's five middle schools. It's the new proposal that the Green Bay Board was asked to take a look at tonight, but this new program and plan could come at a cost. Fox 11's Beth Jones brings us multiple views. We have a number of student interest surveys that have been conducted over the last several years, and um, that data suggests that we have a high desire uh, for football in grades 7 and 8. Those behind a proposal to start football programs at middle schools in Green Bay say data shows the five schools could attract a total of 545 participants. First and foremost, it's providing equity and access to, to all of our students and all of our families. Um, beyond that, it certainly is to improve the quality of um, football um, within our area. Um, high school coaches certainly are excited about that. Smith says another reason for the pitch is to stay competitive with other districts in the open enrollment program. But the proposal does come at a cost for the district. It's estimated to cost more than $200,000 to start up and around $74,000 a year after that. I can't tell you where, you know, where money will come from. But as uh, board member uh, Andrew Becker said, that, that uh, having a football program, a strong program, is something that we hope will keep some of our students in our district that may be leaving for other districts and also uh, potentially even attract some new students. The Great Lakes Independent Football Conference runs youth club teams. Conference officials worry the district's program could cost them players. Remains to be seen how, how much. Um, we offer an alternative uh, to the middle school program. Um, I hope we can work together with this. And we haven't you know, uh, discredited anything they're doing, and we understand it's for the kids, so whatever works best for these kids. The proposal needs approval from the full school board before moving forward. The board is expected to take up the plan at its meeting next week. In Green Bay, Beth Jones, Fox 11 News.